Welcome to Instant Efficiency series. In earlier videos, we saw how to organize documents and apply security settings. But what about accountability? If an important document is deleted, how will you find out who did it? SharePoint gives you three convenient ways to handle such situations. Auditing, which tells you who did what and when. Records, which prevent finalized documents from being edited or deleted. Both these are controlled by policies, which you set. Before we dive into it, let us recap how SharePoint works. It starts with documents, which are stored in libraries. Many libraries form a site, and soon you will have a collection of sites. Settings automatically flow from top to bottom. Similar types of documents are organized using content types. Now, let us understand auditing. Auditing is configured at the site collection level. We can choose which actions to audit. The audit trail is available as several reports. These reports will help us investigate document misuse. Next, let us look at records. A record is a document that has been finalized. When you convert a document to a record, it enforces certain controls. In this example, we want to prevent editing and deletion of the document. All these are examples of final documents and therefore should be stored as records. When the document is finalized, it can be easily converted into a record. The document is still stored in the same library, but it is now a formal record. If you have a large number of records, it is much better to move these into a separate site called a record center. Policies allow us to manage auditing and records by defining rules. For example, a contract will automatically become a record as soon as the date of execution is entered. Another important policy is to decide how long to retain the record depending upon the statutory requirements. For example, a supplier contract must be retained for 5 years and then deleted. Often we store scanned copies of physical documents in the SharePoint libraries. Here, you can use a policy to create a barcode and label, which can be pasted on the physical document. This way, you can search the physical document easily. A policy should also have a policy statement, which clearly informs and educates all employees. When a document is opened in Microsoft Office, the related policy is visible. Different types of documents are organized using different content types. Each content type can have different policies. Nowadays, mail and chat transcripts are also expected to be preserved as records. This is also available using Exchange Online and link online, which are a part of Office 365. You can ask your IT and legal team to contact Microsoft or a partner to explore the sophisticated features of SharePoint Records Management. To summarize, here are the steps for implementing information management policies in your organization. Implementing these policies will protect your business interest and help you comply with regulatory requirements. Remember, permissions plus policy equals security. Send us your queries and feedback. Thank you.